This is the procedure to replace the filter element in the outlet. It's going to be a bulkhead filter outlet for this particular model. This is what it looks like when it's not installed onto the shell of the pump. Okay. And then over here are the tools and the materials that you're going to need. You have a torque wrench. Uh, it should go up to at least 200 inch-pounds. The torque spec for the bulkhead filter is going to be 175 inch-pounds. Uh, you need a 5 8 wrench and a half inch wrench. The parts that come with the kit, the materials, is your filter element itself. And then the filter element gasket. And then the gasket that actually uh, seals the filter to the bulkhead itself. Before we get started, make sure you power down your pump. Make sure your power cord is unplugged from the back. As well as any communication lines you may have hooked to the back. tubing from your fluid path, your outlet and your inlet. So you get to the filter element, you want to get a 5 inch wrench and put it on the larger of the bulkhead parts. And then on the insert part, it's in the half inch size. Right. Now this is torqued down to 175 inch pounds, so you're going to have to give it some force. And you can unscrew it the rest of the way with your fingers. Now, as you can see, the peat colored gasket did not come out with it, which means it's stuck back in the bulkhead. You can remove with whatever you have available. To remove the filter element from the insert, it should be just finger tight so you can just unscrew it with the fingers. Sure, you discard the old filter and gaskets so you can get it mixed up. Grab your new filter element and gaskets. The white one goes onto the threads of the filter element. Just slide it on. You can either run it all the way down with your fingers. on the insert and all I have to do is get a finger tight then with the bulkhead gasket just slide it over the top should fit on a little bit loose then you're ready to install it back into the bulkhead Installing, be careful not to knock off the gasket because if it falls off, it won't seal properly and then you'll have leaking. Finger tight it. Get your torque wrench and set it for 175 inch pounds. Grab the bulkhead with your 5 8 So you replace the filter element.